ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ सूत्र ऑफ द कैवल्य पादा इज एन एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ धर्म मेघ समाधि द सूत्र इज प्रसंख्यानेप्यकुसीद से सर्वथा विवेक ख्यातेर्धर्म मेघ समाधि प्रसंख्यानेप्यकुसीद से सर्वथा विवेक ख्यातेर्धर्म मेघ समाधि प्रसंख्याने प्रसंख्यान प्रसंख्याना प्रसंख्याने अपि अकुसीदस्य अकुसीदस्य सर्वथा विवेक ख्याति विवेक ख्याते धर्म मेघ समाधि प्रसंख्याने प्यकुसीदस्य सर्वथा विवेक ख्याते धर्म मेघ समाधि प्रसंख्याना प्र रेफर्स टू प्रकर्षेना इंटेंसिटी सम इज संपूर्णतः कंप्लीटली फुल्ली इंटेंसली एंड फुल्ली इंटेंसली एंड फुल्ली ख्याना इज नॉलेज नोइंग ए थरो इंटेंस कंप्लीट नॉलेज प्रसंख्यान दट इज अ मीनिंग प्रसंख्यान मीन्स ए कंप्लीट थलो फुल नॉलेज प्रसंख्यान अभी मीन्स इवन अकुसीद अकुसीद इट इज अकुसीद से कुसीद इज इंटरेस्ट अकुसीद नो इंटरेस्ट डिसइंटरेस्टेडनेस ए ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड अकुसीद से सर्वथा इन ऑल इन एवरी वे इन ऑल इन एवरी थिंग सर्वथा एंड ऑलवेज नॉट ओनली इन ऑल एंड ऑलवेज ऑलवेज इन ऑल सर्वथा विवेक इज अ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ख्याति नॉलेज दिस ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड विवेक ख्याति is a specific technical word in yoga shastra a discriminative knowledge a knowledge coming out of discrimination an ultra discriminative knowledge viveka khyati it is then dharma megha samadhi it is a beautiful name has been given धर्मा मेघा धर्मा इज द रियल ओरिजिनल नेचर मेघा इज अ क्लाउड समाधि द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए लेयर एंड अ क्लाउड ए ट्रांसपेरेंट लेयर ओपेक लेयर कैन बी देयर बट क्लाउड इज नेवर ए परमानेंट cloud comes and goes moves it is always temporary layer need not be temporary even though if it is transparent layer there is no guarantee it is temporary but megha is a sure shot it is a temporary a passing phase there is a difference between a layer and a cloud here patanjali uses the word megha dharma megha it is and the sutra is again prasankhyane pyakusidasya sarvatha viveka khyate dharma megha samadhi the normal understanding of the sutra is disinterestedness akusidasya api api akusidasya disinterestedness even in 
ಪ್ರಸಂಖ್ಯಾನೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿವೇಕ ಖ್ಯಾತಿ ಸರ್ವಥ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಧರ್ಮಮೇಘ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಧರ್ಮಮೇಘ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಖ್ಯಾನೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿವೇಕ ಖ್ಯಾತಿ ಡಿಸಿಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈವೆನ್ ಆನ್ ವಿವೇಕ ಖ್ಯಾತಿ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಪರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ದ ಪುರುಷ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಈವೆನ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಖ್ಯಾನೆ ಈವೆನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಥರೋ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಚಿತ್ತ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ವಾಸನಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಪುರುಷ ಈವೆನ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪುರುಷ and on the viveka khyati even that is to be given even this both are to be given up unless this both are given up and giving up this both is the dharma mega samadhi what a wonderful maharshi patanjali is taking us into the depths and basics and roots of yoga it's not sufficient just to realize that i am the purusha and i am different from the chitta and that the knowledge that the chitta and the purusha are the different i am not this world having this knowledge is not sufficient there may be a little bit of interest in even in that knowledge we may be clinging holding on hanging on to that knowledge and that is to be given up and not to have an interest in that akusi dasya it is akusi dasya akusi da even to the prasankhyane and viveka khyati that is dharma meka samadhi it is as if when a pilot or when we travel in a aeroplane we come across clouds and when once the clouds when we pass through the clouds a bright brilliant radiant non cloudy is exposed we enter into it dharma megha is something like that passing through the clouds last stage for the kaivalya is this dharma megha some vivekananda beautifully summarizes the whole thing swami vivekananda when the yogi has attained to this discrimination all these powers will come that were mentioned in the last chapter but the true yogi rejects them all and to him comes a peculiar knowledge a particular light called the dharma megha the cloud of virtue all the great prophets of the world whom history has recorded had this they had found the whole foundation of knowledge within themselves true to them had become real peace and calmness and perfect purity became their own nature 
after they had given up all these vanities of powers. What powerful statement by Swami Vivekananda who has seen, lived with Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and experienced the samadhis and the states explained in the Yoga Darshana. And that is why Swami Vivekananda could summarize in a most powerful way the highest kind of discrimination Viveka Khyati is also to be given up not to be interested in that and by the uninterrupted practice of Viveka Khyati the yogi keeps avidya at bay as we have seen and it prevents the emergence of pratyas in his exalted consciousness. To this is added the practice of that highest kind of mental renunciation, which is known as the pravairagya. Prasankhyane and pravairagya, viveka and vairagya, they strengthen and reinforce each other. One supports, one reinforces the other and form a kind of a virtuous circle it is which accelerates in an ever increasing degree and the progress of the yogi towards the self-realization of his own purushaha. The combined practice of Viveka Khyati and the Paravairagya when continued for a long time reaches by a process of multi-reinforcement a tremendous degree of intense and intensity culminates ultimately in this Dharma Megha Samadhi the highest kind of Samadhi which burns up the seeds of samskaras, pratyayas, vasanas and karmas and unlocks the gates of the world of reality in which the Purusha stays completely and eternally. His condition may be compared to the condition of an uninterrupted flow of awareness and Dharma Mega Samadhi means the final Samadhi in which the yogi shakes himself free from the world of dharmas. All the responsibilities and all the types of natures and which are the reality like a cloud. And this is the beauty of this particular sutra. And all the descriptions which were given till now, Maharshi Patanjali here uses the word dharma, not in the sense normally we understand in our common usage of parlance. Here, the dharma is to be understood as a, a universal, all-pervading nature. And that is what Maharshi Patanjali uses the dharma megha samadhi it is. Let us see the last few sutras of the Kaivalya Pada Om Shanti Shanti Shanti